welcome back to my channel. So I did um, want to do a little bit more makeup stuff with you guys and I did promise you that I'm going to do a ombre lip tutorial. Um, but today I had gotten this um, CoverGirl Cheekers. So I wanted to try it because it looks like a pretty bronzer. So I'm pretty sure they still sell it and this is called Cinnamon Toast. Um, as you know, in the other video, I do like to use CoverGirl um, shadows, usually on my, like, the edge of my eyebrows and everything. So, I thought, why not give this a try? You can see it better like that. So, I'm not going to use the brush they provided. I'm going to use mine. So, I've got my foundation on. I've got my eyes all done. Um, I am going to try, and this is an angled, um, what is this called? This is called a blusher, angled blusher. Um, looks like this. I showed it in my other video. I really like to flatten it so I have, like, a clean line. So, let me get more hair out of the way on the sides. There we go. It's better. I hope you guys are having a good morning. I'm getting ready to go to class. So, hopefully, it'll be a good day. Okay. So, I don't know how much to pick up. I mean, let me swatch this for you guys so I can actually see how pigmented it is. So, I don't feel like it's really that pigmented. Because I'm, like, rubbing my finger actually pretty hard in here. I have the brush in my hand, you can't see. Woo! As I drop it. And, I don't know. Yeah, like I put it on my hand and you can't even really see it. So, I'm trying to pick up a lot of product or I'll have to apply a lot. Yeah, I feel like that's not even really... I usually like my, I mean, it's sparkly, so I like that. I have to say that. But I like my, well, it looks good on camera. Let me see, this light always helps me, but it's super loud. Well, actually, it looks better than I thought. I like mine to be just like a darker tone. I just like the drastic, like, difference. And I don't feel like this has as much as I would like, but... I mean, I like it. Would I rebuy when I run out? Definitely not. Um, so, let me do the other side here. And then I'm going to, well, I'll leave it open in case I need more of it. But I'm going to take my e.l.f. press powder, my translucent powder, and I'm not going to really bake my face today because, like I said, today's not really my long day. So I'm just going to go in and put it... that and I'm gonna pretty much just do my highlighter and then I will do my lips for you guys um, so I'll probably have this um, as one video and then I also wanted to talk to you guys about a makeup project that I'm thinking of starting so I'll probably post that um, on Wednesday about the makeup project that I want to start. I've kind of already started it, but I just want to kind of do do document it with you guys. So let me finish up uh, my highlighter and everything like that. Then I'll show you guys my ombre lip tutorial 
and yeah so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back to do my ombre lip tutorial hoping this will be a good angle for you guys so I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, these are the two colors I'll be using uh, the dark pink it's like a reddish pink is called Karina and then the other one is called Milkshake, which is kind of like a nude color. So I'm going to start with the Karina one. Now, these are liquid lipsticks, so you pretty much don't have to reapply all day, which I love. But they do kind of settle in, like, the cracks. At least for me, I think I need to get better at moisturizing my lips. My top one is fine, but my lower one is sometimes a little bit dry, so it kind of settles in there. And, um, but overall it doesn't look bad. It just kind of bothers me. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to start with the Karina one. So I basically just do like a line with it. So the brush looks like this. Oh, that's a lot of product. This is what the brush looks like. So I just kind of line my lips. Whoa. Oops. So I just kind of line my lips. And then in the middle, I kind of do a little bit higher. So as you can see the bottom, I just lined it. And then I went a little bit high in the middle. And I'm going to do the same for the top. So with the top, I kind of, and the bottom, I kind of fill in the edges. So I went a, bit, a little bit lower on my top than I wanted. Um, and then I take a Q-tip and clean it up. If it's like really bad, like as right here, you can see I got kind of in my Cupid's bow and I didn't want to. So I'm trying to kind of get some of this off the top. Uh, it's not going to matter. So I give that a second. I kind of clean up the edges. Um, and let this dry a little bit. Because I made the mistake before of like automatically trying to put the next color on. And with the liquid lipsticks, it just like really blends them together but not like, just like mixes the color. It doesn't like separate them at all. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few, um, like a minute or so. And while I do that, I'm gonna take the Q-tip and I'm going to get a little bit of my Stila Light um, Shape and Shade Contour Duo. Just the dark one. And just a little bit, a little tiny bit. Hopefully you can see it. And then I just go under my bottom lip. So I do that and then I start blending it. This will give you the effect of larger lips. So just a little bit, guys. Like nothing major at all. So there's that, and this has been drying for a little bit. So I'm ready to move on to the milkshake color. So all I do is just kind of put it in the middle. So like that. So I let that dry actually for a few seconds too. Like see right here, I can see I already went a little bit too far out. So. basically so then I take it with my finger and I just kind of uh, dab and spread it like this uh, like that so yeah these are my ombre lips I hope you got the tutorial it's super easy I was intimidated at first but it's way easier than you thought or than you think it will be, I promise. <laughs> um, and if you guys would like to see more makeup stuff, let me know down below what you'd like to see. And like I said, I have a, a makeup project that I'm thinking of starting that I'll probably film and let you guys know about it. So after you see this video, it'll probably post, this will probably post on a Monday. So it'll probably post on Wednesday talking about what I'm thinking of doing for my makeup project. 
so yeah thanks for watching guys i hope that you have a great day and yeah if you like this video push like and subscribe so you don't miss any more all right have a great day bye Thank you.